Good evening, everyone. Uh, first off, on, on behalf of Lauren and Matt, um, I just want to thank you for coming. Uh, the weather is absolutely beautiful this evening. Um, I have the distinct honor this evening of, of saying a couple words, and, and after these these uh, bows, I don't really know how I'm going to follow it up here, but I'll give it a shot. Uh, for those of you that don't know, know me, uh, my name is Greg. Some people in this room know me as Chewy. Um, and, and I'm Matt's uh, college roommate. Um, and so I've known, well, I've known Matt a long time here. Uh, I really can't even begin to tell you how much fun we've had in this town. Uh, no, seriously, I can't tell you because this is not fun. Um, Lauren, you look absolutely amazing. Just one quick thing about, about Lauren. The first time I met her, um, she, she opened up her house to this college guy. Um, and, and she made an unbelievable dinner, which I've come to learn is pretty par for the course for the Hagwork sisters. Um, but, you know, it, it takes a special kind of person um, to be willing to sit there and listen to two idiots babble about college for like six hours at, at the kitchen table. Um, I, I've always thought of Matt as a brother, and so Lauren, I'm happy to say welcome to the family. Mr. Matt, where to begin? See, I told Matt that I wouldn't embarrass him, uh, but I lied a little bit. So there's there's three things you need to know about Matt. Uh, uh, first off, Matt is a geek, completely. If I ever need anybody to talk about Police Academy movies, or toys, or WrestleMania, Matt's my guy. Um, so, Matt, Matt comes to Cleveland once a year, and uh, it happens to coincide with WrestleMania. See, I told you he was a geek. And, um, <laughs> so, you know, I, I was asking Matt um, when, when he came, I took it upon myself as, as the married friend. I, I was grilling him about this, this woman that he was going to marry. And, and he said one thing in particular that told me that Lauren was right. See, the second thing about Matt is Matt is the biggest mama's boy that you will ever meet in your life. And, and he told me that, you know, as you know, Matt's mom uh, unexpectedly passed away in February. And, and he told me that, that he would not have gotten through it if it weren't for Lauren. And I saw firsthand how awesome you were to Matt and to Richard and, and to the rest of Matt's family. And I want to thank you um, for being there for, for Matt, uh, not just then, but uh, for making him the happiest man in this room tonight. And Swami, he's in good hands, I promise. One final thing about Matt, Matt's a romantic. And, you know, I, I was, Matt was convinced that if he waited long enough, the perfect person would walk into his life. And of course, I'm the idiot, right? And so I told him how wrong he was. <laughs> But I'm here tonight to tell you how wrong I was, because I didn't know it, and Matt didn't know it, but he was waiting for Lauren. And eventually, she did walk into his life. Um, I, I would be in all sorts of trouble if I didn't work Van Halen into this speech somehow. Um, so I, I found a quote from my favorite song that I thought was appropriate for this evening. Um, and it says, uh, when you sense a change, nothing feels the same. All your dreams are strange. Love comes walking in. And I thought that was good for this evening. Um, so, if, if you'll join me in the toast here, even though every rose may have its thorn, <laughs> if you have blind faith in one another, love will keep you alive. Congratulations. Nice.